Okay, they woke up this morning and flew to Washington. Right now we check back in with Dan Cummins, who's been along for the trip yet again. Dan, how special is this uh, for the veterans that you've talked to today? You know, the Vietnam War was a long time ago. It was over 50 years, and the hurt remains, the scars, not just from the shoddy welcoming home that our veterans got, but also the sense of loss. Now, Doug Van Cleve from Archbold served his country very, very well, but he came home without his brother, who was killed over there. Coming to the wall today, so many memories flood back, so much pain. Just honor all the people that are here and just prepare myself to go to the wall has been very hard for me. So you made it back. Your brother did not. That's, right. uh, that, that's got to be some really playing in your head with why he did not and you were able to come home. Well, he thought he had the easiest job in the world in the Marine Corps and he didn't. And I, I was on the ground in the infantry and I, I, I come back. So we've had a great day. Uh, we've been to Arlington Cemetery just this afternoon. Uh, also, the Women's Memorial, where we're live from here right now, and the Iwo Jima Memorial as well. Now, coming up uh, to 6 o'clock, we're going to have a story, hear a story from the only World War II veteran that made our trip today. Now, we're going to bus to Baltimore, fly back home tonight. We'll be at the Grand Air Terminal about 9.30 with the homecoming at 10 and 11, and I'll be live from there. Reporting from Washington, D.C. with Flag City Honor Flight, I'm Dan Cummins.